Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue create our tiny house building and we will switch today on the topic about uh, window and doors. So let's get started to put some windows and doors in our project and let's prepare it. Now I'm gonna switch to the first level, let's go to the first level. Here we are and as you can see, we can see here is our underlay. So let's put underlay somewhere here because we don't need it right now. And as we know, this is first our level and this is first level too. So we will just copy it. What we want to do here, we need the fix window. Let's go to the windows and we will try to find the fixed windows. Uh, you should go to the architecture, find here the windows and let's open up this tab. Now it's while opening and as you can see here under the properties we have only the fix window so actually this is what we want for this moment we will use some of this fixed window let's check it out it's 900 millimeters the height and 1800 millimeters it's wide so it should be enough let's try it and let's put it somewhere here uh, as i can see this is actually small but anyway we will check it out before we will say something so let's check it out here this is 1400 millimeters actually but here it's as i think the difference so let's change it uh, here is our properties and let's change it aha uh -huh, sorry this is height 1800 millimeters so let's duplicate this model you should duplicate it when you want change something here because if you not will duplicate you will change this model i don't want to change it i just want to create new one don't forget about it okay just kill it, delete this number two and let's change the uh, position here will be this one and here 0915 will be here 0915 let's say okay and then now we will change it here too so here it's will be 915 and here it will be 1830 let's say okay and as you can see we changed uh, on the right uh, our window and if you will select this window you can see now right sizes of this window uh, but anyway, our window is not 800 and I will check it one more time. It's, I think, I 1000. Uh, let's do 1500 because this hour underlay is not totally accurate. So let's go again to the, to the type, let's duplicate it and I will change here to the 5000 or oh, 500, sorry. But the height we will leave under on uh it's not actually this is small let's change it to 1200 this will be okay but later on maybe we will change it we'll see so let's do it like this let's say okay 1500 and here it will be uh no here 1500 sorry and here it will be 1200 let's say okay and here is our window so this is pretty what i want but it's not totally right anyway uh so what we're gonna do now we will create all the windows so we will go to through this uh, mm, project and we will create all these windows as you can see we have the windows here on this side sorry on this side we have here and we have here the two but it's a bit different this window it's a bit different okay so but here we have like slide slider here we have like the fix it so i will switch now to this level because we have totally the same type as this one okay so let's go here so uh this is our first level this is our second level and third level so we should go to the third level where is our plan okay i will put underlay somewhere here because it's no matter where is it now and here we have this window let's check the size of this window Okay, this is uh, pretty like uh, 1830. Uh, we have something like this. Let's check it out. Uh, yes, 1800, but I will change the height. Let's make the same height like uh, 1200. Let's do the same thing. Sorry, I just repeating for you guys. And this is, will be nice, I think, to remember it. Again, if you want to change the height, for example, uh, you should create new the type of this uh, family only this way don't make mistake 
So okay, let's say okay, let's put it here. Uh, some of you now will say like uh, why you put your underlay here because you now uh, put your uh, window on the wrong position. Yes, maybe, but when we will go to the facade we will uh, prepare it more accurate than we will do here. So I will prepare it on the facade. So it just f fast uh, answer on uh, maybe question. Okay, so what about here? We have two ways to create this type of the window. Uh, first way we can create uh, the same the same window and we can put near of this window the door. And we have the also the second way we can create the new family door plus window so as one family. Uh, it's only your choice what you will choose, but I will I will stay what I have now. I will stay on the first variant. I will put here the, the uh, window and here I will put the door. So this is level four. Let's go to the level four. Now here I am on 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 the level four. Now I'll again put somewhere here the my underlay and let's check it out okay it's pretty close to the uh to the door or to the wall let's check the i think it's like 700 oh is it nine it's 900 900 millimeters actually so just standard door 900 millimeters plus same 1830 okay let's go here we already have this window let's put it here nice let's go now to the door Let's check it out. So I already have the window. Oh, I mean the door, uh, pretty same uh, type. And let's check uh, how it's opening. Okay, on this side. Just use the space bar to change direction and use the H to change uh, direction on the flip. So here it's like Z position, here it's like Y position. Okay, uh, let's do it here. And let's use the command align go to the modifier you will find it here align and let's align our wall or i mean the our window and our door so as you can see this is pretty much close okay so uh actually i should be a bit extra but i will do it on the facade uh let's check it out maybe we have one some more windows okay we have the windows here as you can see we have this one, this one, this one, but we already did it. As you know, we did it by uh, by curtain wall, so we no need create it right now. So let's check it on the base basement. Oh, we have two windows more. I forgot about it. Uh, we have the uh, sliding window here and sliding window here. So this is pretty same, but it's different size. Uh, actually, this is sliding window. It's able to going to the balcony. So this is it's like full height the uh, sliding window, but this one it's not. Uh, so let's go create the this one first. This is a uh, second level. Let's go to the second level. Uh, here we are. Oh, how many? So many the underlays I have here. So I will delete some. And we need and unpin this one. Okay, so po -po -po, we will go to the architecture, we will go to the window, and of course we will not will find the type of the window what we want. We have two ways. We can go to the library now and check it out. Maybe we'll have there. And uh, uh, the second way we can go directly to the um, family and create it. I will choose the first way for now. Maybe I have this window. I will check it out. Let's go to the family, let's go to the windows, and I hope we will find something uh, near by sliding door, sliding, uh, full height sliding window. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. We don't have something like this. So it's already pretty done. No. Let's go to the uh, doors, because maybe we will find them. So this is, will be like uh, maybe external doors. So we have something like this, as you can see but it's concept anyway i will check it right now fast and i'll back when i'll finish so i have great news we don't have the any kind of door like i said like i showed here uh no worries we'll create right now let's go to the file Let's go to the new family and find here the template like uh, doors. So magic generic, uh, maybe maybe doors we will find. 
so here not curtain wall don't use the curtain wall for now we need just metric door let's say okay and now we are inside the family i mean the template for the doors so what we're gonna do now i just need to do extrusions actually so let's create it i will create like one here and one no the second one will create mm, later on let's use the command align let's align this and this line and lock it the same thing here this and this lock it let's do the same thing here but for this situation i will use the command di so this is means dimension so from this line to this line let's say okay and let's change to the 10 uh, 1 to 10 scale and now this parameter will be um, will be type 1 and it will be uh, of the glass let's make it like this let's say okay let's make even smaller okay and now we need extrusion so extrusion actually uh, I will make I will make which one which one I will make so let's leave it like that I will show you one tricky way uh, let's go now to the some exterior view so here is height of our uh, of our panel I mean the glass I will use command align and I align, align this thing to here and lock it and that one to here and lock it done actually so let's go back to the our reference level and let's copy this thing to this position again just align it align here lock it align here lock it and the same thing here and lock it let's go inside here let's make it smaller just choose this one and let's create the parameter we don't need this one these two parameters we win we want only one so from this line to that line okay just use this thing and use the same thing place our uh, v glass here okay awesome let's say okay let's go back to the exterior view and let's do the same thing i will do it a bit smaller and i will use the command align again align lock it and align lock it actually we done with this family so here what i want actually uh, let's check it out i'll check it let's go to the second floor is it second second floor yeah so we just need to rotate it okay let's do it let's go back here we have already these things if you don't have these things this is uh making able to rotate your family go to create and here is the control and use whatever control you want here okay we did this we did already done with this family let's uh save save it uh, because we need to give to this uh, family some name let's call it like sliding doors like this why not let's say okay and let's load inside to the our to the our, uh, project let's put it somewhere here and now as you can see i can change the position as the same and now we can use it here actually if you want to create some more details of course you're able to do it uh, just spend more time to create more properly families for example now i don't have any materials but uh, actually it's not a problem because uh, later on i can go back uh, i can go back to this family and i can change it or even now let's let's finish even now I will choose this thing and here the material and let's open all these materials just three dots here and you will get this window and as you can see here the glass let's use the same material glass i'll say okay and let's do the same thing here glass let's say okay okay this one i wanna check this is front and curves and median and I wanna also it will be able to see to the plan and this one too let's load it inside and let's overwrite so now everything alright let's go to the plan I'll change view to define 
we don't have anything but we have our family here so this is cool so now you know how to create uh, your family uh, actually it's not good family but uh, it's uh, a nice template to change it I mean later on you can change it and create it really like a perfect family so let's go now here but as you can see here it's a bit different family let's change it this one and as you can see this is sliding door I will change the name because this is door, it's 200 millimeters by 1000 millimeters. Oh, sorry, 1000 by 200. By 200 millimeters. Okay. Let's duplicate it and let's create the new family like um, 2000 by 2000. Let's say okay. So this one, it's as you know, it will be 2000 here. Let's say OK. And now I will go to the basement. I will use the door. Here is my door. I will put it somewhere here. Oh, actually, here is not door. Here is window. <laughs> this is my mistake. Because it looks like same here, the sliding window. Sliding window we have inside our library. So let's go back to the uh, to the, our library. Let's find the windows. It's on the down here. And let's find the sliding windows. So it's somewhere here. Okay, let's use it this one. It's okay, I think. Let's use it this one and let's put it here. Maybe later on we will create one more one more new family which is will be uh, more correct, I mean, will be sliding the door. So let's leave it this one on the, this situation and maybe we will change it later on. Oh, let's change direction. Sorry. Oh, this is again my mistake. Let's leave it like that. Okay, so for now we finish with all the uh, windows. Actually, we have like few doors, but I think uh, uh, all you can uh, put all the doors. Uh, but in the next uh, video we will put it together because here we have a lot of the sliding doors and we will create maybe one more family with kind of this type of the doors. But now it's uh, I think finished. Thank you for watching guys and see you next time. Yes, don't forget uh, below this video you will find the link with this file. It's not finished on this, uh, this file on this stage so you can follow me up. Just download this file and use it. So see you next time. To support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.